drive now to the Melbourne Cricket Ground. There's the coach, farcical, I think was one word used to describe his coaching appointment. The day of the game, I get a phone call from a mystery person. This person says to me he's got mail out of the New South Wales camp that Gus has said, the first person that yells Queenslander out of that mob, I want you to put one on his chin. So I said, who's going to yell it out first? The fair dinkum, about 25 sets of hands went up. Expectations of high drama in the first scrum. They're talking that the first scrum could be a blow up. Gus said, if you want to get on, do it early. And so it was organised pretty much by the players, first scrum was going to be on. I can remember the night before the game, I was in Paul Harrigan's room, the chief. And I was so excited, I was like, oh, he's going to be a big brawl. And then I started thinking, hang on, what if one of the front rowers grabbed me? And he's like, mate, don't worry, I'll look after it. The Maroons start. The question is, who will finish it? I think both teams had the, the same idea as we're walking to the scrum. It's the first scrum that we were talking about. I heard someone yell out Queenslander, and I believe it was Wayne Bartram, our little hooker. <laughs> He went, Queenslander. When we came to that first scrum, I started mimicking the Queenslander call, you know. Man, 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 man. It's about to erupt. Here we go. And well, my God, it was on. Well, we've seen plenty of this in origin. This is one of the best. They've come from everywhere like it was almost a rehearsal. Have a look at them, throw them. It was just madness. Wherever I looked, you know, there was something going on. And, you know, you, you had a bit of a toe-to-toe -to -toe with one bloke and then you swap them to the next, and it was it was pretty uh, it was pretty out there. Brawls have broken out, Hoppawati. He nice. might be in his first origin match. I grab Adrian Liam, and we're going to have a cuddle, I think. We sort of cuddled for a bit on the ground and throw him left some rides. <laughs> it would, uh, I didn't really do much damage. It spread all around the field, and, and I still remember Billy Moore and David Barnhill throwing punches. Barnhill's involved. I went looking for a, a weak point in their team, so I found Billy. Well, this has been the best thing. Barnhill and Billy Moore, they have thrown plenty. Luckily, uh, Billy, Billy's not very good at throwing them. You know, Billy was only a uh, stopgap footballer, really, at the best of times, Billy. He threw 30 round arm punches. I don't think one connected. You know, just sitting there, air swings going back. <laughs> I think in both camps' minds, they wanted to try and show some dominance in the first scrum. Melbourne crowd never seen anything like this before. At the end, uh, there was a pretty loud roar. I'm happy that it went the way it did, because I think we won the fight, and guess what? We won the game. Queensland have won, and they've won the series. You know what? I just wish I had been on the field. Not. <laughs>